what's good guys or welcome on another episode thank you so much for tuning in and if you are here for the very first time i see you thank you for clicking on this video this white man decided to question americans and ask them something about illegal aliens you guys know the conversation of illegal aliens that have been going on and this man decided to throw these questions at americans one thing i love about this video is that it's so viral but the people who are stating to his video are his own people constantly reminding him that he missed on this particular one i have put together their videos so without wasting much time let's get right into it if we need illegal aliens to do the jobs americans won't do who did all these jobs before we had illegal aliens americans won't do who did all these jobs before we had illegal aliens? Ooh, where to start with this one? Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Before we had illegal aliens doing the jobs Americans won't do, we had, oh, I don't know, slaves? Yeah, America was literally built on the backs of enslaved people who were forced to do all the hard labor. So if we're talking about who did the jobs before, there's your answer. Not exactly a proud moment in history, right? Fast forward to today and we've got immigrants, many of whom are undocumented, doing the jobs that a lot of Americans still don't want to do. And guess what? Many of them are paying taxes. Yeah, they contribute to the system but don't get to enjoy the benefits like Social Security or Medicare or any other government assistance. They're putting money into the pot with nothing in return. So not only are they doing the jobs we don't want to do, they're also helping keep the system afloat. But sure, let's keep pretending that the issue is as simple as who did the jobs before. Spoiler alert, it's never been that simple. To do the jobs Americans won't do, who did all these jobs before we... Really? We're going to do this again? This is, this is where we're at now. You need this explanation again. So here we go. Slaves. Motherfucking slaves. The same people that built all the fucking state capitals, the same people that built all the original estates, the same people that built the original roadways and bridges. Slaves. Slaves, slaves, slaves. The white European ancestors used slaves. And they were pissed off when those were taken from them. States rights. <clears throat> Uh, and they created the working poor instead. You know, if you actually studied the history of the nation and how it affected its people, you, with all of your connections and all of your influential money and your power to gain knowledge, if you studied half of what you claim to stand for, you would realize how so much has been dedicated to us. And I'm technically the working poor. It saddens me to no end how stifled the realities of our nation has become because of influential backstabbing groups that want to keep that racist heritage alive. So once again, just so you can hear it, the slaves, yeah, the slaves. Have the day you deserve, man. Americans won't do. Who did all these jobs before we had illegal aliens? Well, before the white people got here, it was the indigenous people. The indigenous people that uh, you call illegal aliens did it. They uh, took care of the land. And uh, then the white people showed up, tried to enslave the indigenous people to do all the work for them. That didn't work out. Uh, so they decided that the African slaves were much easier to control. And uh, so they did that. And then... Uh, People fought back and said slavery is not allowed. And uh, then you took advantage of poor, desperate people from other countries and paid them pennies to do all of the labor that you didn't want to fucking do.
which is what we're still doing today. Hope that helped. If we need illegal aliens to do the jobs Americans won't do, Does he know? Two points. First, Mexicans, people from Central America in general, are more native to the lands here than white people have ever been. Like, I mean, bitch, I've got a little bit of Native American in me, but I'm, I know that I've got a lot more white ancestry in me than anything. We are the illegal aliens. But second, the country's been built on the backs of slavery. <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? Who did it? Slaves did it. Duh. I can't tell if you're being intentionally dense or if you're just that fucking stupid. Had illegal aliens. It's ain't the flex you're looking for. <laughs> Considering that um uh, people who were doing those jobs were still illegal aliens because you know what at some point it was their country you didn't know that or you kind of glancing over that they were here first before it became united states states like texas new mexico why do you think the new mexico got its name new mexico hmm it's almost like it was belong to Mexico. Oops. Utah. California. Yes. Who did all these jobs before we had illegal aliens? From 1619 until 1865, um, the United States first imported uh, Africans and people from the Caribbean to work as in, as as slaves, but when the U.S. Um, outlawed the importation of the enslaved, uh, we began forcibly breeding the enslaved to produce another population of slaves. Um, except for you know the importation didn't stop because the last slave ship, the Clotilda, arrived here in 1864. If you opened a history book, you would know that. So all these jobs, these, you know, meaningless jobs carried over the reconstruction because people who were rich and white and had owned the the, the plantations where these formerly inside the individuals work still needed someone there to do the job. So here, we'll give you food and money and clothing and housing if you will come back and work for us. So a lot of people did. That's why you have a lot of people who are uh, black in areas where historically enslaved people live. That's one that's there. Um, but then you also have uh, during Reconstruction the black codes that came up, that came into existence, and the black codes all said that you could not be a vagrant. You you had, you had to have a job. You'd have a certain amount of money in your pocket and stuff like that. And the most applicable people that those laws applied to were the formerly enslaved. So they began being put in prison. And the use of the 13th Amendment was spot on here because it says that slavery and involuntary servitude shall not exist within the United States unless it's a punishment for a crime. Oh, okay, prison work groups. Yay. So that's what we did with all the black people that were you know, breaking law by not having anything else to do because they didn't have anything to do to begin with. They couldn't find work. They weren't, they weren't given equal opportunity. They weren't allowed to have educations until later during Reconstruction or later later part of the 19th century. Um, so during that time, there were a lot of Chinese immigrants who came here, and of course they were excluded by society, told they weren't equal. Um, couldn't really mix in with everybody else. Uh, so you would have black people and Chinese people who would get together and would take take what work that they could. Or Jewish people even did the same thing because 
They weren't allowed to mix in with society. So you have all these different ethnicities and religions and whatnot coming together to make up this beautiful country that used to have the motto, E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. But that one typically looked like you and I do, because that's, that's the ones who were in power doing all these things and offering all these wonderful jobs to people that we did not want to give the right to vote to, or people we, didn't, we don't allow to go to school with the other children. Um, people we didn't, we didn't want to give um, equal rights to for a lot of reasons. Still going on today. So before the illegal immigrants began coming here to get all the jobs, uh, there were those who were in power who gave those jobs to those who had no power at all. And it's still happening today. So because you're such a fucking dumbass that you have to ask this question on the internet, I'm having to explain it to you in a video you're never going to watch. And you're going to keep asking all these things that you think are good questions and smart questions and make so much sense. And get all the views and content in the world for it. We good? We good. It is literally his own people clocking him real fast, reminding him that it is not a flex that you think it is, because definitely it's not people like you who did those jobs. And we know you know the answer, and this is not what you think it is. This person said, slaves and you guys had no issue with them being here until they got their right to vote and voted against you. Now they are against you and you want them out. Convenient much there are so many comments the comments on that video right now is like sixteen thousand comments and you guys they are roasting him in the comment section this one said apparently it's all those black jobs trump was talking about what the heck when trump said they are taking the black jobs what are the black jobs the black jobs that these certain people don't want to do because they are literally still using those people like slaves another one said dude your ancestors were illegal aliens. Also, who did the jobs American won't do before immigrants, you mean? Those would be the ones your ancestors enslaved. Let's not hack like we don't know how USA got hit. This is the most ridiculous things I've ever had. The jobs that nobody wants to do are exactly those with low wages. And the only people willing to do them are illegal immigrants hired by Americans. Another person said, the illegals you're talking about have more rights to be in this country than you ever will. You came from illegal immigrants, yet you want to criminalize the Native Americans coming from Mexico. Did you a descendant of the original illegal immigrant to be talking so boldly about not knowing about slave labor. You forgot that your ancestors were also illegal immigrants because they arrived by boat from Europe to North America. <laughs> this dude literally was a security risk for Trump for the amount of gambling losses he has and walks around OC all the time getting laughed out of places. We need to teach our kids how not to be ignorant because later on they turn into this slave kind of people you guys they are literally roasting him in the comment section because you can't tell us that you don't know the answer to the question that you're asking and this is not the flex that you think it is it's so nice seeing his own people actually check him and wake him up that this is not the flex you think it is let me hear what you guys think about that silly question let me know what let me hear what you think about this comment as well i will catch you guys in the next one